This is a 1988 Trans Am GTA. That's what I'm talking about. Tim Carr, nice to meet Tim you. Tim Carr, what's going on with all these cars? Tim Carr. Tim's out there standing between two cars, and they're like the yin and yang of Detroit. I mean, one's black, one's white, one's a pickup truck, one's a sports car. I had them in inventory and thought they'd do well at your auction, so that's why I'm down here today with them. I have a used car dealership uh, where we primarily sell, you know, later model cars, but not too many specialty vehicles like these. This is a 1988 Trans Am GTA limited edition car. Trans Am reminded me of Knight Rider, that old television show with the talking Trans Am looked just like it. But yeah, I kind of like it. It's like time capsule. It's a timepiece. Was it the top of the line of your it Trans Am? It was. I think they made about 1,100 of them. How many of them talk to you? This one sure does. Oh, really? <laughs> it's in real good shape. The fellow that had it claimed to me when I bought it from him that he had spent over $12,000 on it. Really? I said, why are you selling a car like this? And he told me that it, his wife told him it was either him or the car had to go. Man, check out that steering wheel. It looks like a spaceship. Everybody thought that was the wave of the future, you yeah. know? You know my favorite thing about this car, don't you, Tim? What's that? T-tops, baby. Pops out real quick. That's what I'm talking about. He said, smash the gas and see what happens. I'm happy to oblige. Feels good. Feels like I'm in a rocket. Hold on to your hat. Whoa. For a car that's almost 25 years old, I think it drives really well. All right, so this one gets a thumbs up for sure. Let's shift gears a little bit and then move on to the late 80s and check out our Trans Am. My seller tells me that this GTA designation was evidently a um, very limited edition. We made like 1,100 of them or something. Right. The fact that Paul's Trans Am is a GTA adds more value to the car creates a little bit more excitement still over just a regular Trans Am. This car, out of the box, would go 141 miles an hour without any modification. No kidding. Pretty amazing for an 80s car. It's got a couple issues, I've noticed. Yes. The spoiler needs total replacement. It's got issues. If you look underneath here, you can see where it, oh, yeah. the mounts are, are back. Over there, it's actually very right. loose. You were talking about the possibility that C10 had a Corvette engine in it. Right. Well, this car actually came from the factory with a Corvette engine in it, and it actually probably handled better than the Corvette. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Enterprise or something. Look at the headrest. I'm not feeling exactly. like I'm <laughs> <laughs> It looks like generally this car has been taken care of pretty well. Here's my predicament, Mike. I basically am on the hook for 11.5 for the two vehicles. Can I get there? I look at the C10, and I'm thinking it's worth somewhere around six. A good solid six. Solid six. Right. The 67 Chevy pickup truck's value is affected a good bit top end by the fact that it's not a, a perfect restoration. Okay. And this is worth a good solid $4,500. Paul's Trans Am is actually in very good condition for its age. It needs a little bit of help and a little restoration, but I think overall it's something to work with. So Mike evaluated each car and came to a bottom line of $10,500, which is all well and good, except my number's $11,500. This is why I'm not crazy about reserves. Suddenly, the odds are against me taking home any kind of commission. I'm gonna roll dice and see what happens. Thanks for coming, man. My pleasure, good luck. Up with a Chevy C10 pickup and that slick Trans Am. I'm sure hoping that these two vehicles get to the reserve that Paul and I agreed on, or it'd be a big disappointment, a waste of time. That meant the Trans Am was going to have to carry more than its weight and bring in at least $4,500, or we were not going to meet our reserve. And that meant it would be on me to kick in the balance. 1988 Jet Black Firebird GTA. Van Halen, uh, tank top, and a mullet. <laughs> here, to, here, to, here, to, to me, I would like $1,000. $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $2,000, $
Anybody else? What about you? Here's six down, seven fifty, and you're out. I have sixty-five once, twice. Third call, six thousand. Reconsider, sixty-seven fifty. No regrets. Sold, sixty-five hundred. Sold, sold. You bought a cool car. I just bought a Trans Am for my brother, who's just moved to the states here. We never got on when we were young, but now he's my favorite brother. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, sure. Tom. Yeah, welcome. Today I'm leaving Gallery 63 with $2,000 more than I expected. I'm really happy. I'm still not a fan of reserves because it means extra marketing with a chance for zero payoff. But sometimes it's worth it because like today, when we hit the reserve, we also hit pay dirt.